Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, we will discover that Bixby Voice and Google Assistant are in fact friends and should be used in collaboration to maximize your experience. Now, you may have watched my Bixby Voice videos and already know that Bixby Voice has unique capabilities that no other voice assistant can duplicate, such as the ability to control your Galaxy smartphone using voice commands without even having to touch the screen. So let's dive in and give you some examples. But before that, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. And do not forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Saki Tech Online. Anyway, let's dive in. Hi, Bixby. Go to the settings. Okay, here are the settings. Hi, Bixby. Go to device maintenance. Hi Bixby, fix now. Hi Bixby, go back to the main screen. As you know, I just went into the settings and I basically commanded Bixby to do every single thing that I could have done using my fingers. Now on top of what I just did, I can also give Bixby a chain command such as Hi Bixby, go to performance mode and switch game mode on. Okay, I turned it on. Hi Bixby, go back to the home screen. Now what if I wanted to go to performance mode manually using my fingers and change the settings? Here's what I would have to do. I would have to tap on settings, uh, go to device maintenance, and then go to performance mode and then switch back to whatever option I want. But using Bixby voice, I can do that as a chain command and it happens, I think it happens quicker than if you were using your fingers in certain instances. So basically these are the kind of things you cannot do with Google Assistant, but you can do with Bixby. You can control every aspect of your phone. And I do recommend that you go and watch my in-depth video that gives you more details on how I launched the camera and control the entire camera using my voice. Anyway, Google Assistant and other assistants like Siri are extremely limited on actually controlling the interface of your smartphone. But Google Assistant is quite smart when it comes to tapping into the up-to-date Google database and the web to feed you fast and accurate information such as navigational capabilities or just information gathering. All right, so let's take a look at Google Assistant and this is gonna be an example on how Google Assistant is better uh, than Bixby in information gathering and giving you accurate, up-to-date information. So let me ask uh, Google Assistant a question. Okay, Google, is Best Buy in Wilmington, Delaware open right now? Yes, Best Buy at 4807 Concord Pike is open from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Absolutely fantastic. Now, this is not something Bixby could do. And let's try that. Hi, Bixby. Is Best Buy on Wilmington, Delaware open right now? Here's what I found. So as you can see, Bixby in this scenario, even though it did find me a link that I can tap onto, it was not as quick and accurate as a Google Assistant as far as fetching real-time information goes. And of course, another example would be navigation. So if I ask Bixby to navigate me somewhere, it's not gonna do it the, the way I like it done with Google Assistant. So let me show you an example. Hi Bixby, navigate me to the Best Buy in Wilmington, Delaware. Okay, it's 9.06 p.m. As you can see, that did not work properly. Now let's do the same thing with Google. Okay Google, navigate me to the Best Buy in Wilmington, Delaware. Bye. Absolutely fantastic. Now, this is not something that is possible uh, with Bixby as you just saw with my example. So basically, if I'm going to tweak a setting on my phone, I'm not going to use Google Assistant. And by the same token, if I'm going to tap into navigation, I'm not going to use Bixby Voice. Again, here are some examples of what I'm talking about. Okay, Google, set the phone to vibrate. 
Opening volume settings. Okay, so as you noticed, I just said that and it took me to the actual uh, settings instead of actually doing what I told it to do. Now let's try the same thing with the uh, Bixby. Hi Bixby, set the phone volume to vibrate. Okay, it's been changed to vibrate. So as you can see, it took the full command and actually executed that command the way I wanted to happen. Hi Bixby, convert five United States dollars to Canadian dollars. Let's select the unit you want to convert from. All right, as you can see, that did not work properly. Now let's do the same thing with OK Google. OK Google, convert five United States dollars to Canadian dollars. Five United States dollars equals six Canadian dollars and 32 cents. Fantastic. So basically, I don't think there's any need to pit Bixby and Google Assistant into a versus battle. If anything, you can combine their strengths and use them for maximum benefit. And even push the real competition like Siri or the less popular Cortana to improve themselves. And that's basically all I want to talk about in this video. Let me know in the comments section below how you feel and drop any questions and concerns about Bixby or Google Assistant or even Siri. And of course, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. And do not forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Saki Tech Online. Have a fantastic day.